I, 62M, met my current wife, 39F, four years ago, and we got married two years ago. She has a son, 12M, from her previous marriage who lives with us full time, his dad visits occasionally, but lives in another country. I also have two adult children, 34M and 32F, from my first marriage. I will admit I don't have the greatest track record as a father. While my bio kids were growing up, we were kind of distant, as their mother and I were constantly fighting, she was a psalm, while I was running a business to varying degrees of success. However, when they became adults, we, bio kids and I, became much closer. My business also grew a lot, and I am quite wealthy now, compared to struggling to pay bills when my biological kids were growing up. My relationship with my stepson is quite good. He doesn't call me dad, but seems to view me as a very close uncle. I do my best to be a good father figure to him. If I'm being completely honest, I hope that eventually, he will see me as a father figure, especially given that his father is never really around and constantly disappoints him. So here's the issue. A few weeks ago while I was going through some things in the basement with my bio son and daughter, the topic of inheritance came up. I mentioned how I planned to include my stepson in my will and he would get a third of the inheritance, I don't remember how exactly we got to this topic. Well, my kids are furious with me now, telling me this was unfair, as they had to grow up with a cold, emotionally and physically distant unavailable father who struggled to bring food to the table. They mention how my stepson gets to live a luxurious childhood with a much kinder and more present emotionally available and supportive parent than they had ever had, while not even being my real son. Then on top of that, they would lose out on the inheritance they feel they had earned for working so hard to repair our relationship after all the damage I had done to them. Edit. To clarify, that's not something they said. It's something I'm trying to be cognizant of because they absolutely could have walked away, but chose to try to repair our relationship, still before my business was successful, and they both had a hand in making the business successful because they were willing to help out. I can understand their point of view. They feel like I'm slighting them for my new family with a much younger wife, and what they claim is a do-over child, which he is not, but I can see why they see it that way. I want to do right by my stepson, but also my bio kids, who did have to put up with a lot more during their childhood than my stepson. Am I the idiot for planning to leave an equal inheritance to him? You're the idiot, without a doubt. Why are you treating some random kid that you've known for two minutes the same as your actual real kids who you have apparently failed over and over again? I guess you can leave him a bit, but one third is ridiculous. Agreed. He has this kid in his life for a hot minute, and he's already in the will? He isn't on the same level as the bio kids just yet. I'd have waited to make sure the new wife and kid actually stick around before adding them in. And the kid doesn't even see him as a father figure either, just a close uncle. Absolutely wild. While theoretically, it is lovely to leave something to a stepchild, your leaving an equal share to the child of your trophy wife is really tone deaf. Your bio children are not being greedy for not being pleased by your showing once again that you are not treating them fairly. You have shown them that you who are old enough to be this kid's grandfather now has decided to have a new family as a do-over. Also, you do realize that your stepchild is going to wind up with more than the bio kids anyway, since you are going to leave a sizable amount to your new trophy wife and you will almost assuredly die before her, given the large difference in age. The stepchild is going to inherit from his mother the amount you left to her, as well as the one-third directly. And I bet you are also leaving the wife your house and other valuable personal property. A lot of bio kids have been screwed out of stuff when the father takes up a new family. When my grandfather passed two years ago we discovered that he had moved most major assets into solely his second wife's name, so the terms of the will screwed my dad and his brothers and all the grandchildren out of basically everything. He was also a man who married a much younger woman, she was my oldest uncle's GF in high school, for some added drama, and was an absolute idiot to my grandmother and their children their entire married life and beyond. We expected nothing, because he was awful and got nothing, but that extra screw you of his second family getting everything except the token I didn't forget you stuff, and they don't see what the problem is, is the reason I'm low contact with any of that part of the family since grandma passed. This year I went to my fiancé's house for Christmas. It was my first time going, as we would typically go to my family's house instead. I got a, rather pricey, gift for my fiancé Dan related to his hobbies, I got nice gifts for Dan's parents, based on things I'd talked about with them before, 
and I got a small pack of chocolates for each of Dan's other relatives, I didn't know them that well. I wasn't expecting many gifts from Dan's relatives because I didn't know many of them that well, but I was certainly expecting more than I got. At first, I was excited when I saw that there was a big pile of gifts for me. However, once I opened the first one it was just a piece of coal. Everyone laughed, and I just kind of laughed along thinking it was a gag gift and that the other gifts would be different. But every single one turned out to be coal. All 18 of them. I started to get upset, so I cried and lashed out at Dan. But he calmly explained apparently this is a long-standing tradition in his family where they gift coal to newcomers who are celebrating Christmas with them for the first time. He explained that it's just easier that way since all the relatives who might not know the newcomer well don't have to stress over finding a gift, and it's a fun experience for the newcomer as well. I told Dan I couldn't believe I skipped my own family's celebration for this and left. But now Dan and some of his family are blowing up my phone, saying I embarrassed him in front of his relatives and that I made it awkward for everyone. So am I the idiot? Not the idiot. You skipped your family's Christmas for this and they shouldn't have done this to you without a warning or your consent. Just because they enjoy this tradition doesn't mean it can't be hurtful to you and they clearly ruined the occasion and then gave you a stupid explanation. Especially your fiancé is inconsiderate in all of this, you deserve better. This was legit humiliation. Not the idiot. It's a long-standing tradition to haze and humiliate new potential family members. Is this a family or a frat? Not the idiot on the sheer idea that you skip time with your family to be humiliated 18 times in a row. Families that do this sort of crap are toxic. This is literal hazing, but okay because it's family. My dad passed away two weeks ago. Me, my wife Candace, my daughter, 16, Shiloh and her stepsisters, 19, 17, flew to my hometown to attend the funeral. After that, we got two hotel rooms, one for me and Candace, one for the girls. While I was in the room, I got a call from Shiloh at 11 p.m., crying and sounding like she was arguing with her stepsisters. I asked what the matter was and she told me that her stepsisters insisted that she sleep on the floor, there was one large bed in the room, and there was enough space for all three girls to sleep on. I asked why and she said she didn't know. I went to see what the issue was and talked with my stepdaughters about it. They kept talking but didn't really explain why they told her to sleep on the floor. They just shrugged and said. It's better this way we're more comfortable this way. I told Shiloh to grab her things and when one of my stepdaughters asked where we were going, I told her I was booking her a hotel room. Both looked upset but didn't say anything. They must have called their mom because she was awake when I got back and started arguing with me about giving Shiloh an entire hotel room for herself. I explained why I did it, but she said I wasted money and that Shiloh could have endured it for one night on the floor. I called her unreasonable for saying this, but she told me I showed the girls that I'm playing favorites and made my stepdaughters share a room while I gave my daughter an entire room for herself. We went home and Candace is still bringing it up saying I mishandled this. She even pointed out how my stepdaughters are upset since they're not speaking to me. P.S. It was Candace who got a room for the three girls so as to not stir any drama and save money. She was in charge of hotel reservations since I was emotionally distressed. Also, Candace did not expect Shiloh to sleep on the floor. She wanted all three girls to share the bed. And also, I've known my stepdaughters since they were little. We're pretty much family and Candace is a psalm, but I give her full access to my money since this stuff was already discussed beforehanded. Pretty much everything was. What I'm getting from this is that your stepdaughters were trying to live up to the Disney depiction of stepsisters and were shocked when they couldn't just bully her into getting what they want. What's extra gross is that they did it when coming back from Shiloh's grandparents' funeral. Talk about cruelty. You're definitely not the idiot. But also what is wrong with Candace if she sees this as playing favorites? Her daughters tried to make yours sleep on the floor for fun. Sounds like the apples don't fall far from the tree. Have you pointed out that your daughter is also upset because of the situation and she is playing favorites? Not the idiot. Candace is the one playing favorites. Expecting your daughter to sleep on the floor is some Cinderella type stuff. Maybe pull your daughter aside and find out if this is the only thing they've done to treat her badly. Not the idiot. If playing favorites means your grieving daughter is not to be unnecessarily subjected to her evil stepsisters bullying then, yeah, own it with pride. 
Your wife is an idiot and doesn't care if you and your daughter are grieving, she's making more problems with her brats and accusing you and your daughter of being the problem. She's still bringing up weeks later how you mishandled this and saying is proof of that the older brats are upset? Time for some serious thinking.